And since then, it just sits here on the pallet. Good old N55. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. Well, I've been asked a few times now, what happened with the BMW? Now you guys may recognize the unit. Usually you see me working on the car in here. Uh, if we look over here, uh, not my boat, so don't worry about it. This is actually a shared unit that I have right now. But behind it, sitting my 335i. Now, from the back, looks fine. But if we walk over here to the front, you may notice that there's uh, something missing here. Don't worry, I still have it. It's sitting all the way over here sitting right there there's a problem and here sits the rest of what was supposed to be in the engine bay now if you guys have watched one of my earlier videos i got to go to one of my dream tracks i took this thing out to laguna seca finally got to drive around that thing but i ended up having a little bit of a problem now on the way back from laguna seca is when the problem started i was driving along and whenever i would get into it the engine would start knocking here let me show you guys it makes a little bit of noise now, which is not a good thing. So, go ahead and start it up. So, right now it idles and it runs around just fine. But if you rev it up a little bit, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But, enough of that. So, if I just drove normally, it was okay. So, I just puttered my way back from Monterey all the way back to Reno and didn't really have a problem with that. When I got back here, decided we were going to pull the engine out and see if we could find what the problem is. Now, since it only knocked at higher RPMs, I was hoping that it possibly it might just be a bearing that failed and everything would be okay and I can just roll some new bearings in there, call it good. But turns out it was a little bit worse than that. Now, later on, I will show you guys what happened with this engine. Um, pretty much one of the rod bearings spun and damaged the crankshaft. And since then, it just sits here on the pallet. Good old N55. Now, it's sat there for about a year now. Um, it turns out that the N55 is really expensive and if I wanted to get a new one It was gonna be like over ten thousand dollars and every used one I can find the cheapest one we got was about five grand I didn't really want to spend that kind of money on it at the time. So basically it just sat there Well, you might be asking hey mark. What are we doing with the BMW then you are an automotive channel? Why aren't you gonna fix it? I didn't want to spend that much time on the engine uh, It was a bit expensive to replace it and to fix it, like the crankshaft just itself, if I was just going to buy a crankshaft, was still going to be like $2,000. And so I would be in it almost as much as it would be to buy a used engine, plus all the time to clean it and machine it and put it all back together. I'm not that interested in it anymore. It's still a cool car. I like it, but I just don't want it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I have a friend who decided he wanted it. He's going to build himself a track car and a cool daily driver so he could drive around. He already works at a BMW shop, hopefully sometime this week. He'll be buying it from me and then it'll be gone. Now, I'll let you guys know if that actually happens and if it goes through and he decides to buy it or not. He did say yes, but, you know, people change their mind all the time. So that's the update I got for you now. It's going to be going to a new home. Hopefully the new owner will enjoy it as much as I did because I really enjoyed that car until it broke on me. Now, if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It helps with the channel a lot. And also, if you want to see what happens to this thing, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be updating on it here shortly and update you on some new things that are happening. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.